One of my dad's friends would babysit me sometimes when I was little. My mom wasn't in the picture at the time. Maybe it was something my dad told me to do, but I would always call him Uncle Bob. He was known for telling some pretty crazy stories, but there was one I won't be forgetting anytime soon. One that still scares me to this day. One night, Uncle Bob was driving a rig out in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. He had to make his delivery by the following morning, so he decided to drive the whole night through. It was around one or two in the morning, and no one else was out on the roads. He hadn't seen another car in about a hundred miles, and there were no signs of civilization for probably another hour's drive. Suddenly, the whole sky lights up, as though it were instantly the middle of the day. Uncle Bob slammed on the brakes since he had no idea what was going on. Everything stayed lit up for a good solid ten seconds, and it wasn't overpoweringly bright. He could see like it was a clear, sunny day. Whatever happened, it wasn't lightning. It didn't stop or flicker at all. Uncle Bob hunkered down, anticipating imminent nuclear devastation. Then just as suddenly the sky went dark again. No blast, no sound wave, like nothing happened at all. He sits there waiting in the middle of the road for almost five minutes, then decides to keep going, figuring it had to be a meteor or something. He goes for about another two miles and sees a car with its flashers on stopped in the middle of the road. Uncle Bob stops himself a good distance away from it. There's not enough room to go around the scene. The front end of the car is crumpled like it hit something. Bob figures they probably hit a deer that was spooked and ran into the road when the meteor went overhead. He gets out of the driver's seat and goes to see if the other driver is okay. The driver is sitting on the ground by the driver's side door. He has his knees up and is resting his head on his arms. Bob called out to him, Hey buddy, you okay? Uncle Bob stopped about 10 feet away for at the time what seemed like no reason. Something about the whole situation felt off. Uncle Bob is one of those guys who listens to his gut, so he stayed right where he was. God, my head is killing me, the guy said, but he didn't lift his head up, so it was muffled. Did you hit a deer? Bob asked. Uncle Bob was getting more and more uneasy about whatever was happening. Something was clearly wrong, but he still couldn't figure out exactly what it was. The guy said he thinks he might have hurt his head, and asked Uncle Bob to please help him. Bob takes a step forward, but his instincts are going crazy. He gives everything at the scene the once over again, and that's when he notices it. The guy on the road's car is all wrong. The best way Bob could describe it was that it looked like someone thinks a car looks like. It had all the right pieces, but there's nothing extra, if that makes sense. He also said it was like a cheap Hot Wheels knockoff. It just looked wonky and wrong. Uncle Bob took a quick look around at the back of the car and realized that not only is there no license plate, there's not even a trunk. It's just one solid piece of material with taillights inserted. There weren't even manufacturer or model names. If Uncle Bob knew one thing, it was cars and this thing was nothing like anything he had ever seen before. From where he was standing, he could see there was no tailpipe or even hubcaps. It's just the shape of a car. Uncle Bob starts to back up slowly, and the guy asks him for help again. Bob tells him he can't help him, and that he'll call a tow truck as soon as he reaches the next town. The guy lifts his head up and tells Bob he thinks he might have a concussion. Something is really wrong about the guy's face. But again, it takes Bob a second to figure it out. This next part is exactly how Bob described it. Everything on the man's face was where it should have been, in their normal positions. In that regard, he looked totally normal, except for the fact that his eyes and mouth were on upside down. Uncle Bob loses it, sprints back to his rig, climbs in and locks the door just in time for the man to slam into the door behind him. He couldn't figure out how the guy got there so fast. He knocks on the glass and smiles at Bob, but because his mouth is upside down, it looks like he's screaming. 
He tells Bob to open the door so he can come in. Bob floors it. He doesn't care if he hurts the guy or not. His truck easily pushes the imitation car out of the way. Whatever it is, it's light and it makes no sound when he hits it. Whatever that thing was, it gave up shortly after Uncle Bob started moving again. Bob got to where he was going just fine, with no other problems. My dad knows the story, but I don't think he believes it. But Uncle Bob tells the story to everyone he meets, so he obviously does. He's absolutely adamant about the guy being an alien, but I'm not so sure. Years later, I learned about the Thatcher effect and nearly had a heart attack. It's when you look at a picture of someone upside down when their eyes and mouth are flipped as well. The picture looks perfectly normal in the upside down position, but when you flip it back around, it's obvious that something is wrong. I tried to show one of these pictures to Uncle Bob. At first, he wouldn't even look at it. Eventually, I got him to take a glance. He said it's exactly what the guy looked like.